Hello everyone, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Hino 338 refrigerated box truck. So this is a truck where you can use this for delivering food to supermarkets around your town or Minecraft city. And here is what it looks like, a 360 view of it. And um, yeah, I have it right next to my HMAR here in Longview. And HMAR is like a Korean supermarket, so maybe it can deliver foods right there. And uh, there is a box truck over there unloading stuff, although it is slightly different than this one. Uh, but yeah, here's what it looks like. I saw on YouTube there's not many like good uh, box truck tutorials, so I thought I'd make my own. And yeah, let's get started. Alright, so first we're going to grab some materials. We'll take out um, black wool, uh, nether brick wall, smooth quartz uh, slab, block, stairs, black concrete, nether brick slab, uh, oak slab, and also smooth uh, stone slab. And that's all we could fit for right now. So we're going to add in a pair of wheels. This is going to be on the other side of the road. And we'll have a black wall with two blocks of space in between. Then in the middle of this, we'll add in um, another brick slot, two blocks wide here. And we'll make it three blocks long. Then behind this wheel, we'll add in this nether brick um, slab, I mean wall. And then other side, same thing. Then the front of this, we'll add in an oak slab, another brick slab next to it, and smooth quartz slab on the sides of it. Then uh, we'll add in these two black concrete blocks like that. And on top of that, two smooth quartz blocks like that. And then uh, behind it, we're going to make a row of four blocks wide, smooth quartz block. And we'll add another smooth quartz in the back of this on the sides. Then we'll add a smooth quartz block at the top corners like this. A uh, smooth quartz stairs here and a smooth quartz slab underneath. And then a smooth quartz stairs facing the back right on top of that wall. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we'll take out a polished andesite slab, a skeleton skull. So we'll add in these two polished andesite slabs and another two at the bottom so they're spaced apart for the grill. And we'll add in the skeleton skull in this corner, make it diagonal, so it's going to be one of the mirrors. And then we'll add in, um, let's see, smooth stone uh, block and smooth stone slab. So smooth stone slab is going to be a 2 by 4 so 4 blocks wide, 2 blocks long. This. In the middle of this, we'll make it 2 by 2 a smooth stone. Then we'll take out um, polished andesite uh, stairs and block, and also black stone brick slab. So add in black stone brick slab here, and then a polished andesite stairs right on top of it. Other side will do the same thing. So slab and stairs on top. Next, we'll add in polished andesite slab here, and then three blocks tall polished andesite. And then the other side will do the same thing. Slab here, three polish andesite. And then polish andesite slabs all the way across the top section. All right, then we're gonna delete these upper polish um, andesite blocks and we're gonna replace them with upside down stairs. So it has a, like a little white showing like that. Then we'll add in a nether brick wall, two blocks wide on the sides. And then two black concretes in the middle here. We'll take out smooth uh, quartz. Uh, we'll make a two by two here. Build the inside of this smooth quartz. Then on top of this, we'll add in smooth quartz stairs upside down. And it's going to be two blocks wide. And then we'll add in dark oak trapdoors on top. And then two orange carpets in the front. Then to the sides, we'll add in a white carpet both sides. Next we'll take out an uh, item frame with an uh, orange bed. So that's going to be our headlight. Just place uh, two banners, right? I mean two item frames here, 
orange beds and I'm going to make the white part sticking closer to the middle like that. Then we'll add in, um, I guess the bottom area, it's going to be a brick slab and smooth stone slab. So we'll add in a brick slab here, a smooth stone. And then we want to repeat this. So there's four of these pairs. So this is going to be one pair, two, three, and four like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and four. Then at the back, uh, we'll add in another brick slab and stairs. So there's going to be slabs on the ends and the middle facing each other upside down. Another brick stairs like this. Then we'll add in four blocks uh, wide, or actually is it five blocks wide of these dark oak trap doors. Like that. Then the middle of this we'll add in uh, black stone brick blocks. Just filling in the inside all the way across. Like so. Then next at the back, we'll add in uh, polish and it's like blocks, three blocks all on the corners. And we'll make a row across polish and slabs like that. Then for this doorway, there's going to be a um, block of quartz so that there's some lines in it. All right, then um, the sides of this is going to be smooth quartz all across this wall just below that layer with the slabs and the other side it's almost the same thing so this side has like a little doorway so I'm going to add that uh, so just add in these three smooth quartz here and then two polish anisite uh, blocks like that and then we'll add in polish anisite slab on top smooth quartz behind it and then we'll fill in the rest of this wall in uh, with smooth quartz and make sure you're using smooth quartz not regular quartz because regular quartz has those lines that we don't want except for the door in the back so we're going to fill that in like that and for the roof I use smooth stone slabs all the way across alright so after we're done with that, we'll take out a uh, black um, All right, so after we're done with that, we'll take out black wool, another brick slab, uh, another brick wall, gray banner. Let's go to the back here. So we'll go from this um, trap door. I'll skip two blocks and add in uh, another brick wall, I believe. All right, so next up, we're gonna line up with this uh, brick slab, go underneath and add in another brick wall, black wall in front of it. And then the other side will do the same thing. Um, that, and add in a two by two of nether brick slabs right at the top section. Okay, then the sides of the wheels, we'll add in a um, stone button, and this goes for the front wheel as well. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And we'll add in a gray banner behind the back wheel. This is gonna be our mud flap. And some companies, they have like their logo design on it. I guess you could come up with a design you could put on it if you want to. Anyways, we'll add in a dark oak uh, fence gate right here on one side, and then dark oak fence, I mean trap doors all the way to the front. Sorry, some guy teleported to me. So it looks like this, a little bit of detail at the bottom. Alright, so next we'll add in a acacia button, blackstone button, a lever, a uh, dark, I mean, nether brick um, fence. So we'll go in the front here, we'll add in a lever, another brick fence on top, and a polished blackstone button behind it. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we'll take out acacia button, we'll add it in the top corner here, both sides, and the top corner on the other side. 
that. And then in the back, we'll add in iron bar, a uh, trip wire hook, an oak uh, sign. So we'll go here, add in iron bars on sides, trip wire hook on one side for the handle to open the door, and then an oak sign for the license plate down below, like that. Alrighty, so it's looking uh, pretty good so far. We'll also add in a dark oak sign onto one side of the Hino truck. Right there. Alright, so we're going to take a nice inspection, see if we're all uh, done here. And I think we are almost done. We just need this white banner. And we'll put that right in front of this doorway. So it's just the edges that are gray. And uh, yeah, I believe that is pretty much it on how to build the Hino 338 refrigerated box truck, which you could use in your Minecraft city. Remember to give me credit if you are using this build. But anyways, if you liked the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.